Set up a shot. Do we have anyone here that speaks a language other than English? Like Russian or anything like that? Yeah. Yeah. Who's your favorite player? My favorite player is uh, Efren. You know, I've been I've been like over 40 countries, and I still haven't been to Greece yet. So what we're going what we're going to do is pretend that we're in Greece, okay? We're going to be my interpreter. Okay. Set up a shot here. Okay. Now I want to win one of my uh, my training tools here with the DVD. I will shoot from here. And I'm gonna make the eight ball. So what pocket do you think the eight ball is gonna go in to win? I think it's gonna go. No coaching now. So I'm gonna shoot into the one ball. Like a piece of the line up. Okay. 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 That's right. <laughs> That's right. Sure. <laughs> I shoot in one ball, two ball, one ball, three ball, four ball, never three ball, twelve ball, ten ball, zero, twelve ball, five ball, same ball, fourteen ball, eight ball, coming against that. <laughs> Sam, good <laughs> Okay, here we go. I hit the one, the two moves out of the way. One hits the three, the three moves out of the way. Three hits the twelve, twelve hits the five, and then just like that. There Canada and uh, he's been doing real good. He's been playing, finishing high in tournaments and uh, hopefully he'll win this. You know, we'd like to see him win it. What's the word right now? Play the one and then carry the nine ball and 
the two balls. Exactly, but play the one. Yeah, I don't know why you shot that. Looks like it's going to be tied up. From Sioux Falls, South Dakota, this man has set a mark that very few will ever reach in seven or eight years that he's been playing professionally. He's one of only three men in history who have won three United States Open nine ball championships, and he's one of four men who's won two consecutively. Twice he's been the Dirty City all around master of the table. There's only two other men that can say that. Twice he has won the Derby City Nine Ball Division. He's won for the Triple Crown. He's also got two Derby City One Pocket Finals in his career. Without a doubt, he is a dead cinch lock for the Hall of Fame. Sponsored by QTech, it's the South Dakota kid, Big Shane Van Ball. Not only one of the fastest rising stars in our game over the last four or five years, but also have the pleasure to know that he is one fine representative of our game. We meet more people like this man. Seven times he's been Canadian champion. He's a U.S. bar tank late ball champion. His picture hangs high here in Derby City representing his 2012 champion Chip. He's trying to put another picture up there on the wall. Would you kindly welcome John Wall? And for the last time, it's my honor again to send it up to the booth to Mark Wilson 
it's a Hall of Famer, and they gave a word of it. Gentlemen, please take your away. First round, Shane breaks. Shane's coming to the table with probably one of the most dominant breaks there is.
Oh, the finals, it was, it was great, especially that last game there. Uh, uh, John got very unlucky on that, on that kick, and they stuck the cue ball perfect, made it in the side pocket, but they both just played almost flawless, you know. These guys are, they just don't miss. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, remember we're getting ready to enjoy watching the caliber play now. It's just well, really unbelievable. Guys, I mean, so many good players, here. you know, and just everybody's. You can tell they're really training, especially the European players that they really train. And, uh, you know, and that John, I'm really impressed with his game. You know, he played really good in the ten ball too, in the bank. Stepping up. You know. And of course, Shane's playing great for quite a few years now. That's uh, good to be in, good up there and seeing everybody. <laughs> oh, and the 10 ball challenge. Oh. I think Maine, I need a cover shot right here.